Hunting season means a lot of things to many people. Time to get outdoors with family or friends in some of the state's most scenic areas and fill the freezer. Hunting season is also data season for many biologists with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, and it's here where hunters can lend a big assist to data collection, as they have graciously done for years. Radio collars provide wildlife biologists with substantial data on animals' long-range movements on the landscape, and a number of studies are presently happening around the state, particularly with mule deer. It's certainly not illegal to harvest a radio collared animal. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department, though, asks that hunters who find or harvest an animal with a GPS collar or transmitter to remove that collar and return it to a Game and Fish officer employee. Now, across the state, people may come across or even see collared big game animals like moose, mule deer, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, or elk. Again, it's not illegal to harvest a radio collared animal. Game and Fish simply asks the collar be removed without cutting or damaging the electronic components on the collar. Blood sample collections are another important bit of data collection hunters help Game and Fish with. In selected hunt areas, hunters are provided a blood sampling kit to test for brucellosis, or they're asked to collect lymph node samples for chronic wasting disease testing. Check stations are probably the most familiar for data collection. Harvest collection is collected on animals' age, sex, antler measurements, and harvest location. A reminder, regardless of hunter's success, all hunters are required to stop at a check station when traveling to or from their hunt area. Check stations are an opportunity for game and fish to collect data from harvested animals, but they also provide a chance for hunters to ask questions to game and fish personnel at that check station. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.